Hey gang, it's Doug with Doug's Timeshare Travels. Today we're traveling to Vail, Colorado, and we're staying at the Ritz-Carlton Club and Residences in a two-bedroom standard unit. We were assigned unit 420 on the fourth floor, and as I mentioned, this is a standard unit. They do have a larger unit that has a den and would provide you a little bit more space maybe in the living room. As you walk in, you enter through a foyer, and on the left-hand side, you have a guest bathroom. Guest bathroom is a single vanity bath with a toilet. As you turn to the right, you have the utility closet. The utility closet has the stackable GE washer and dryer. You also have your uh, ironing board and iron, a little area to hang clothes as you take them out of the dryer to prevent them from wrinkling. As you enter the unit, on this particular unit on the left-hand side, you have a kitchen with seating for three at the kitchen bar. One of the things that we like about timeshare stays is that we're provided with a full kitchen and all of the uh, utensils we need to prepare a meal in case we don't want to eat out every night. The two Rich Carltons we've stayed in provide uh, owners and guests with uh, um, upgraded Bosch appliances, very large side-by-side -side refrigerator and freezer there, very quiet dishwasher. And this kitchen also provides you with a uh, wine cooler or a wine refrigerator to keep your wine at the appropriate temperature. We also had a very fancy Breville coffee maker that take, took me more than a minute to figure out kind of used to the uh, cheaper Cuisinart uh, coffee makers. The dining room table seats four, that with the three seats at the three chairs at the uh, at the kitchen bar there, uh, you could seat seven people in this unit. And there's a little cabinet back there that has a lot of your glassware in it. The uh, living room has a gas uh, flame fireplace it's actually on right now. As you can see, it doesn't provide a very visible flame, but it does provide quite a bit of heat. Of course, there's a large screen TV above the fireplace. There's a little cabinet back there for storage. For seating in the uh, living room, you have uh, two chairs and you have a uh, couch which uh, pulls out into a sofa sleeper. Now, we arrived at night, so you really couldn't see that there was a balcony. So I had to come back uh, the next day and show you the balcony. Now balcony, in my opinion, is kind of a generous term here. As I get the door open, you'll see that this is a very narrow balcony. And really, if you step out on this balcony and close the door, there's not much room to turn around. Uh, so in cooler weather, it's really not terribly user friendly. I would imagine you'd need to uh, be here in the summer and be able to open that, leave that door open. We uh, were street side. We didn't hear a lot of street noise. We did have some nice views. And as you'll see, uh, if you look out there, you see all that traffic, that's 70 highway. We did have some traffic noise, but it wasn't overwhelming. It didn't really disturb our stay. These units have two master bedrooms. Uh, both of them are set up very similarly. They have a uh, uh, large king size bed. A little bit different decor in each of them, but otherwise pretty much uh, a duplicate of each other. They both have a little area here uh, where you could sit uh, to get ready to go out. They also both have a uh, walk-in closet and each with a additional three bedroom dresser in the closet. The units provide guests with robes, so you have something to wear when you go to the pool. And there is a, a small safe in each unit. The bathrooms have a dual vanity. They also have a nice feature that warms the tile so that when you step onto the tile in the morning, uh, it's not cold. Um, I had the tile warmed up to 71 degrees. It was very pleasant. The bathtubs here are uh, jetted bathtubs, and each one has a little shower wand attached so that you could use that to uh, clean yourself off with. Of 
course, they also have toilets. The toilets are uh, have a sliding door to provide for privacy. And they have a very nice shower with the multi-use uh, shower gel, shampoo, and uh, hair conditioner. This is the second bedroom. And as I said, this uh, these two bedrooms actually are two master bedrooms. As you can see, a little bit different decor, different color scheme. Uh, the lamps are a little bit different, but still has a, a nice uh, chest of drawers, large screen TV, and a chair. This one also has the small seating area. Then, as I mentioned, it also has a walk-in closet. This walk-in closet had a little bit different light, is a little bit more brightly lit. And again, uh, also has a safe. And like I said, relatively small safe. And the bathrooms have all the same amenities. Uh, they're set up just slightly different. One thing that I did forget to show is that on the back of the doors to the bathrooms is a full length mirror for when you want to get dressed to go out at night. The, this particular bathroom, uh, the door is a slider door. Uh, in the other bathroom, it was a uh, standard door. As you can see, the uh, setup is just a little bit different. Both tubs have the uh, shower wand to them. but overall very nice for uh, uh, two couples to stay in. I hope you enjoyed this video of our stay at the Ritz-Carlton Club and Residences in Vail, Colorado. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe button at the bottom. Until next time, guys, safe travels.